All right. Microphone check. One, two, three, four. What are we on? 80? 80 should be pretty good. All right. So we're good. Let's let's go to um what do we need to do here? Uh video on, clearly. Let's get that video on and papping. Y'all can see me. Boom, we're good. That's me hitting the microphone. So I turned, I guess, adjust audio level off automatically because I was messing things up before. Let me just say, um, before people join, I'm charging my other device over there, uh, my other iPad. Um, my wife and I are in the midst of a 10-day green smoothie cleanse. Let me make this light a little bit brighter because it's a little too dark for my liking. Give me one second. Because I'm trying to basically be able to see chat on my computer. That might actually be a good solution. Maybe to bring chat over. I have to figure that out. But uh, for now, we're good. But yeah, we're in the midst of a 10-day green smoothie cleanse. And um, it's going really, really well, I must say. We are on day eight. We have tomorrow. And then we have Tuesday. And then we're done. And we were just upstairs talking about like what we are going to uh, have for our first meal um and we're super excited for it let me know um mic check and video like if you guys can hear me just fine if you guys can see me just fine let me know in the uh in the chat if you don't mind in the meantime i'm gonna drop a link to my patreon on my youtube um like live stream that that's going on right now uh before folks start joining from the patreon which should be in about 10 minutes so stand by one second So yeah, that's key with this is for me to do like basically have us have this thing set up so everything is kind of like automated. Um, I still don't love like having this pole here where you know to get the top down view, and because I'm I'm doing this wirelessly uh, via the update on the iPhone um, to be able to connect to the Mac and do like a live stream and use your phone as a webcam. Technically, I can figure a way to. Let's see, to get my, to get something right above this keyboard where it's at, um, probably doing some work in the ceiling, honestly, but nothing too crazy. Um, and just enable like this top, like basically have my phone with MagSafe so that I can just like tap it on this pad that's sitting here. And then it just like, it's positioned exactly where it needs to be. So I don't have to like all the time make these fine adjustments and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's a work in progress. I'm figuring that out. But for now, just going live for for a few on YouTube before the Patreon starts, I think is always a good idea. It's like a little warm up kind of thing. So that's exactly what I'm about to do right now.
too loud. Oh, USB. Let me see. Jack. All right, so what's happening with this? Oh, it's muted. Okay, there we go. So we need... Yeah, there we go. I think that's all it does. Yeah, there we go. Let's get like a synth. down down shift right should be joining soon ish we're working on ultimate guitar tabs and so let's go here and let's pull up uh where we were we were working on as and by cv wonder and um yeah do 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 let's do single tone and let's go i still still couldn't find like like an amazing electric piano let me see this is better. This is actually better, yeah. Uh, also, I need to check my vocals because let me make sure I'm, I can hear myself. One second. Make sure my feed is coming through properly on YouTube. She just wanna close her eyes and sweat. Boom, with you, with you, with you. Yeah, I can hear myself just, just fine, just fine. We'll turn that volume back down, head on back over, and jam out for the next few minutes before my Patreon starts. Let's go. All right, so what were we doing? So we were doing do, 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 do. Wait, it's mm, mm, so it's like do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. As 
is around the sun, the earth knows she's revolving. And the rosebuds know to bloom in early May. Just as hate knows that love's a cure, and you can rest your mind assured that, and then was, oh yeah, that I'll be loving you. So those are the two chords there, right? So it's that I'll be loving you all ways. So it's, and then C sharp. So let me say, let me say, let me say, let me say, let me say. So doom, boom, boom. As it does, so she's revolving. And the rosebuds know to bloom in early May. Just as hate knows that love's a cure. And you can rest your mind assured that I'll be loving you always. So that's that's it right there. So it's it's like, and we might even, let me, let me find a better, uh, a better piano for what we're doing here so i'm like sitting here teaching even though the patreon has not started yet but this is, this is a warm-up this is a warm-up right here you know so um okay so let's go here yeah i don't have like a amazing sounding electric piano that i really i guess this is that's actually good we'll, we'll, we'll uh three-star that one all right here we go so do 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 as around the sun the earth knows she's revolving and the rosebuds know to bloom in early May just as hate knows that love's a cure and you can rest your mind assured that I'll be loving you always. And then C sharp minor goes to here. Oh yeah. Boom to F. F sharp. That's it right there. Do 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 do. I'm gonna stop sharing that for a second. Do 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 do. It's Amanda, <clears throat> welcome. I think you're connected to audio, right? Yeah, you are. All right, cool. Probably getting set up. Good to have you here. So 
it's like these just one Nike. good that you can hear me that's good if i do like ask to unmute hopefully it's not yeah it should be good i don't know what kind of device you're on but if you tap on your screen if you're on a touch screen device and then yeah on the top or the bottom left there should be like a unmute thing there possibly i got it there yes we go. <laughs> perfect how are you good how are you good happy new year Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was, uh, what did you do to bring in the New Year? Did you like turn up or more low key and chill? What do you usually do? Oh, totally low key and chill. I'm older now. I haven't turned yeah, it up yeah. in a few, few years. <laughs> right. I have like the Google Photos uh, Chromecast thing on my TV. So it shows like the slideshows of like, you know, what you did on this day and all that stuff. And so like maybe, I don't know, maybe about like seven or eight years ago there was like a three-year stretch where like atlantic city and like the clubs and like my wife oh and nice and the whole yeah, yeah which was a good time but it's like it was like so different my, my wife asked <laughs> me to wake her up if i could um you know like beforehand so i did at like 11 50. yeah and then with it with the expectation that that was enough time for her to like get get herself awake and then like be awake for uh be awake at at 12 o'clock so I woke her up and then she went back to sleep at like 1157 and then I had to like get her up again at 1159. So it was like, this is like the new parent <laughs> life, like, you know. Yeah, you you're a family man now, you know, exactly. you guys are fat, yeah. It's a, it's a whole <laughs> different world over here. Yeah, but happy to have you. Princess is, is on her way in right now. We may have uh, at least, well, definitely, I mean, at least one more. And then, um, yeah. I think us three probably, I think from people that RCP, but ha happy to have everyone here. We're going to go ahead and just like kind of get started straight away. We have a new member, Amanda, and this is Princess. You guys know me. I'm Kevin, hey. a.k.a. Courtmaster. <laughs> I thought it would be like a good idea um, is to like do introductions, but I'll, I'll wait a few minutes because I do believe X, uh, Xavier is coming and I think it will be like good for, you know, everyone to like do the introductions together and everyone here together. But in the meantime, let's talk about some sort of preliminary chord overview stuff um, with with you with you two here. So I want to kind of just like dive right in to some concepts that we've talked about <clears throat> in the past in here and some of the ones that we've kind of discussed a little bit on the uh, on the YouTube and the Patreon video, Amanda, that I had sent over to you. So essentially in this, we've been doing this for maybe about, I don't know, like four or five months or so. And kind of what this is, is like, I'm teaching two different, or about five different types of chord, chord like basic chords. Like we, we talked about major chords, which sound like this. Let me switch to a piano sound. I'm gonna, we're gonna kind of go over this, but we talked about major chords, which is a three note chord. We talked about minor chords, which is another three note chord. There goes Xavier. We talked about uh, three different types of what are called seven chords, which are uh, four note chords. So we talked about like a C major seven chord, which is a four note chord. We talked about a C minor seven, which is another four note <coughs> chord. And then we talked about one called a C dominant seven, which is another four note chord. So those are like the five that are the, the ones that we're going to be using for like the foreseeable future uh, in here. And I'll probably like sprinkle in a couple of like other special chords that aren't as common. Um, but I'm going to pause for a second. We have you three here. So I want to kind of start with uh, some introductions. So X, what's going on, man? How are you doing today? Going on? I'm good. How are you? All right. I'm great, man. I'm great. We have a new member, Amanda, in the building. So I figured it would be a good time. And it's the top of the year. So it's like a good time for us to like do like a little some introduction so um i'll start i'll start i'm kevin allen i'm a pianist a music content creator uh, uh education entrepreneur i have a tutoring business uh where i tutor math and 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 uh, mentor students and also teach piano lessons um and i'll say that patreon is one of like my main focuses for this year uh, i'll be doing a lot of the other stuff that i kind of get involved with but like patreon is I just love, I look forward to this every week. And I think you guys have gotten a lot out of this so far. And I have like some like ambitious, but definitely doable plans for um, making this better and better from week, you know, week after week. So I'm excited to be here. Uh, I'm going to hand it off to X to maybe introduce himself next. 
Oh, um, yeah. So my name is Xavier. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird to describe what I do, but um, yeah, I produce. <laughs> you know, I produce music. Um, yeah, I take photos. I do video stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I'm awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's that. That's about it. That's about Love it. it. Um, yeah. Dope. All right, who do you want to hand it to next, Princess or Amanda? Oh, I gotta pick someone. Yeah, you have to. Oh. <laughs> What do you think this is? Okay. Well, well, Amanda, you can go. You can go. Since okay. we know Princess um, already. Hi, Princess. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Amanda. I, um, I'm from Jersey. I mean, born and bred in New York, but I live in Jersey. Um, I don't know, Kev, should I say where I'm, where, how I know you and like break, the connection? Yeah, br yeah break the, Just uh, jump break right the into ice, it. let everyone know okay. what's up. Mm -hmm. Um, so I am actually a wholesale account manager for teenage engineering. So that's why my instrument will be the OP1 wow. field. Um, Cause you're awesome. Yes. <laughs> well, I studied music in school, but I took more of like, uh, I worked sales for several years on the retail floor. Then I joined teenage engineering and, uh, I realized that there's sometimes where I have to demo. And even though I know how to use, uh, our instruments. I'm not the most musical and I forgot everything I learned in college and harmony and music theory just went right out the window. That was years ago. So I spoke with uh, some people at work and I was like, you know, I met with Kevin and he has all these classes. I'm thinking of maybe joining his Patreon. It might be something I could refresh my memory and try to have some sense of musical technique on, on our instruments. So mm -hmm. here I am. <laughs> Look, happy to have nice. you here. Happy to have you. Very yeah. much looking forward to this. And yeah. last but certainly not, not not least, and of course not least, we're gonna go to Princess. <laughs> Princess, how you doing today? I'm great. How are you? We're Hello, good. Amanda. I everybody calls me Princess. Uh, my name my name actually means Princess, which is Amira. And um, so uh, I'm learning chords. I've always wanted to learn chords. I'm a truck driver as well. Me and my husband drive trucks. And we're all over the place, but right now we got a dedicated route. But, and I also do videos on YouTube and stuff like that. And uh, I, 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 I sing. I'm trying. I'm just. I'm learning beats now. So mm -hmm. crushing and, it too. Cap. Don't don't be Cap. modest. Cap. Don't be <laughs> modest over there. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> With a name like princess, you know. I, like. I'm still. I'm right. still right. learning. <laughs> Yeah, she be producing humble. bangers. She be producing yeah. bangers, great bangers. Pretty wild. She said bangers, but uh, bangers. I can't think of anything else. Um, that's I'm a hairstylist as well. I, I, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of many. I do a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would, cool. you, like you just can't imagine all the licenses that I do have. So, but um, <laughs> but other than that, that's it. Um, Excellent. Yeah. Well, like I said, happy to have you guys here. I learned something new. I did not know your name is Amira. Um, so that's awesome to know. X, did you know that? Maybe you did. I said yeah, it. We went, yeah, we went over this. Did we? And yeah. Then, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. My yeah, mind. We did. Just, okay. I can, I, no, I can, I can say that I didn't remember. Okay. That I have that no recollection. Her name. Even with you saying this now, I'm trying to think, what was the context? Like When we first when, started. Oh, yeah, okay. it, was when we, it was when we first started this. So we had this exact thing. We did a round table. Exactly. I, yeah. I said it's like a deja vu kind of situation happening right now. Okay, cool. So I feel kind of yeah. foolish, but that's okay. Such is life, right? <laughs> All right. It's okay. So we're gonna, it is okay. So look, we're going to we're gonna dive right in. Um, so yeah, we are continuing on with the song that we're actually going to run it back from the beginning of it just because it's been uh, a few weeks since we've kind of been practicing, practicing it. Uh, Stevie Wonders as is the song that we're that we're kind of starting off with. And so one one more thing that I'll share, I mentioned those five different chords. So sort of the structure and what we've kind of been focused on for the first several classes, but now we're kind of doing things a little bit different is we pick different songs that we are uh, learning together and kind of week to week, we would kind of learn one song, not necessarily finish it. And then the following week, I would like pick a different song. So we like knew a little bits and pieces of each of them. But we since shifted a different direction and kind of like going through a song in its entirety, um, many of which are, 
you know, a whole song will only have a handful of chords, you know, depending on the song, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we're going to start talking about the start of this song, um, which is a song that has. So when we think about Stevie Wonder, of course, we think about, um, you know, like comp complicated, beautiful and complicated music. Uh, real quick, before I continue, you guys, hopefully you can see the words on the screen and then you can see the piano as well. Uh, yes. yes. All right. Excellent. All right, cool. So yeah, that's just a just a kind of just a kind of recap, um, kind of what we what we've done so far. Right? I'm gonna play just the first six, well, first three, and then first three chords, like the top intro part here, right? So. All right. <clears throat> so. We started off X, um, if you remember, when we started with this B major 7 chord, we know that a B major 7 in root position um, will look and sound like this. All right, so it'll be a B, uh, E sharp, F sharp, and an A sharp. And the very first thing that we do with, with a lot of these songs is we want to sort of ask ourselves, um, what is like our preferred way of playing the first chord of the song. It's a very important question because if we love the way that this, and when I say the, the, the type of way of playing it, we, we know about inversions, of course, right? So we have this root and then we have this, which is the first inversion. We took the root note, brought it an octave higher. And then we have same thing, took the then lowest note and moved that an octave higher. And then we have the then lowest note brought it an octave higher and then we do it again we're back at the root position just a whole octave higher all right pause for a second questions comments everyone's good so far cool silence and yes. also i can oh, no that, that's fine that's not, i i can't actually see you guys either and that's that kind of sucks with like when i'm screen sharing so i guess if it's questions or comments just uh yeah just shout it out because that'll probably be best yeah that's actually important to say all right cool so we decided and mostly X decided that um, this first chord sounded the nicest in second inversion. So we started learning this song starting in second inversion, which is this, right? So we have F sharp, A sharp, um, B, and uh, D sharp. So we said that this was like the, the maybe nicest sounding kind of thing. So we started here. And let me go to Princess for a second. So Princess, I'm holding these notes down. Princess, can you play this chord for me, please? <laughs> ah, let's pause for a second. So I'm going to stop sharing. I'm hearing the same thing be from before, like uh -huh. the little cutout thing. But we fixed it last time. So, do, so that was... um disabling something right that was disabling the automatically adjust like turning uh what do you call it turning um turning something I professional forgot. audio what is that called again turning like original audio on and then and then making making sure that automatically change uh volume is not enabled those are the two things i think we had to do on your end so that okay, it doesn't so clip like I, that did i click the microphone yeah no Oh, to get to that, you would click like the little, uh, like on the mic, the little arrow on the top right of it, I think, and then go to audio settings. I think that's how it's done, depending on what kind of device are you on again? Is it your laptop? Audio setting, um, the Mac. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and we did what now? So, original audio needs to be enabled, like in the audio section. And uh, then... Um, what was the other thing? The uh, automatically adjust volume or something like that needs to be disabled. Okay, that's disabled. Okay. Automatically adjust mic or phone volume. Uh huh. That's disabled. Uh -huh. And original audio is on. Hold on, let me see. Let me find it. Mm -hmm. And while you're looking for that, I want to I want, I want to say one thing to everyone. The when we talk about second inversion here, the way. The easy way for us to be able to listen to a chord and look at a chord and be able to know that we're in second inversion of, is that going to be any chord? No, not any chord of specifically this, like a, uh, a major seven chord is when you have two notes that are directly next to each other. And the reason for that is because check this out. When we go back to root of this chord that we're playing, B, 
D sharp, F sharp, and A sharp, we know that the B, in order to figure out what the seven is from B, we have to go up one octave and we go down a half step. So the last, the first note and the last note in a major seven chord are exactly a half step away, right? We can see that from like this here, and then you go here, right? So this is a half step away. So the fact that when we go to second inversion, these two notes are right next to each other is, is, is a, a clue or indication that we are talking about second inversion because that, that those two notes glued together are right in the middle, right? If we did first inversion, those two notes glued together are at the very end here, right? Second inversion in the middle, third inversion at the very beginning, right? And then back to back to root like this. All right. So, um, um, oh, well, we'll try it. I guess I got the right. I think I did the right. Okay. And when you go, when you leave that menu on the top left of your Mac, there there should be an area where it says something like like lot like uh, original audio, and make sure that is clicked on as well. On oh. like the actual Zoom page, I'm looking at mine on my on my computer. The Zoom page, okay, yeah. Yeah, like where you see us at. Yeah, so turn that on as well, right? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah I think that's I had it wrong. So. Still yes, clipping no? a little no. bit. Still clicking. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll we'll you take a look at that. Let me know if this questions are. We're gonna continue on with um with the first oh. couple chords here so we have this right uh, you said back. original sound for musicians right that's right that needs to be on and then the setting in the zoom screen also needs to have the uh needs to be on as well okay and, uh, is there another section i need to be going to because i only did it in the zoom part no i think those were the two things that we did i mean do you if you if you want to try uh, unchecking echo cancellation as well you could try that i don't remember if we did that as well but i'm looking on mine and mine is disabled and i think you guys can hear mine just fine okay so we have b major seven to start with and we like the second inversion of it right now um amanda this second chord here can you say that over the second word do can you say what chord that is that's B dominant seven, right? Correct. Yep. Excellent. So B dominant seven is also known as B seven. So if you hear someone say B seven or B dominant seven, that's exactly what that is. And when we're talking about a dominant chord, we're talking about, I'm going to go to C just for a second. C major, you would play as if you were playing a C dominant seven, you would play a C major and then you would play a minor seven on top. So you know what a minor seven is be, uh, by looking at an octave higher and going back two half steps. So a major seven is an octave up, back one half step. A minor seven is an octave up and back two half steps. So a C major triad with a minor seven creates a dominant sort of tense sounding jazzy type chord, um, which is what this is right here. So. Now this is a this is like one of the and I'll, I'll um yeah definitely do a video on this as well for like a sort of introductory and X just checking and you you good you good there as well right? Uh yeah kind of so my normal keyboard died on me so I had to bring my synth out and I'm trying oh. to like make the sound not sound like a synth so you can like I'm trying to make it sound like a keyboard Close but it's like keyboard. I have to do everything manually. Gotcha 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 okay now just checking and making sure okay. yeah so. All yeah, I'm good. good. I'm good. I mean, I mean, you can hear that, right? Oh, that's a funky, funky synth clavichord thing going on there. Okay. No. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I like my key. I thought to charge my keyboard and I was like, no, nah, I'm straight. And then like, I literally, when you're like, you call my name, I tried to play something and then it was dead. And then I was Done. like, now nah, I have to figure out what to do. Yeah, yeah. All good. All good. All good. All yeah, right. But so, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm here. Well, I'm going to, it's perfect. I'm going to ask you uh, a question. So how do we go from B major seven, which is this first chord, to B dominant seven. How do we do that? Let me, give me a second. Me sure. Second. You said, you said B, B major seven? Mm -hmm. so the second, we're specifically looking at the second inversion of B major seven, but yeah. B major seven. 
seven. Oh, um, you have to you have to lower the seventh by a half note, right? Precisely. Now let's talk about that for a second. So, well, go ahead, go ahead. You got more. Go ahead, go ahead. Yep. I was gonna I was gonna say yeah. So you move this uh uh. This uh, this A sharp, Good. down to an A. Good. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second because this is like a. That's exactly right. So Amanda, let me let me bring you in for a second. <clears throat> so yeah. we're at B major seven to start, and I'm gonna actually play. I'm gonna play like the um like the root version of it just to kind of simplify things. Uh, you know, kind of like yeah, bring the bring the point home. So if we're at B major seven, which is this, and we want to go to B dominant seven. We know that uh, this is B major seven, so we know that a B dominant seven is the same as a B major seven, except the last note is a half step lower because it's a minor seven instead of a major seven. So that would go here, right? So that would sound like this. And it's kind of like one of these things, once we practice it more and more and more, we'll be able to look at, now, now that we're not talking about the root version, we're talking about the second inversion, we'll be able to look at this and kind of, kind of understand that these two middle notes that we're playing here, the right of the two middle notes is our root of the chord. The left of the two middle notes is our seven of the chord, right? Just because of the way that this is kind of placed, right? So if you know that, and you know that a, a, dominant, a B dominant seven is a half step lower, then all we're gonna do is just take this pointer finger and bring this down a half step to here. Now, when we're playing this chord progression, if you're, so you're, you're on an OP1, I know X has, X, you're on like a 37 key, I think, or something like that. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. You, even, even this synth is a 37. So yeah. Okay. And the other one you had was something different, but same, same amount of keys. And, and yeah, Princess, same exact. Same exact. Okay. Princess, you have a, like at least. Casio. 70, Casio. Is it at least 70, 61 or 76 no, no, keys? No. But you have, I, I know you have more keys on there than. Yeah. Than it's the, kind of big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, I have an 88 key here. So, so when we're, when I'm playing these chord progressions, I'm usually thinking like, okay, we can play them with the right hand, the chords with the right hand, but I like bringing in the left hand to accompany the chords with the root notes of what we're playing. So for example, uh, well, here, I'm bringing in a double octave. I think X sometimes to do it with a single octave. You can go here as well, just to kind of make it sound a little bit more full. So... I would go here, and then you're staying on B again for the second, because it's still a B dominant seven. And then we're going to an E major seven. I'm going to go back to screen share uh, uh, just so we can kind of take a look at the next chord here together. And we'll talk about how we go about, and Princess, I'm going to bring you in for this one. If we can talk a little bit about how we would go from a B dominant seven to an E major seven. And this time, the way that X described the first two chord changes was a way of, of sort of, you know, having his sort of intermediate level understanding of this, and, and which is, you know, more beyond beginners what I'm, is what I'm trying to say, which is the way that we would learn this originally. Um, he just knew instantly that, oh, this is an easier way to do it than the way that we're going to talk about B dominant seven to E major seven. So let's let's bring princess in and let's um take a look let me uh, stop sharing for a second yeah so let's take a look so the next one is e major seven so we're here uh that was weird okay so we're here and we need to talk about an e major seven so before we begin princess can you tell me the notes um in an e major seven chord uh e e uh, um, G sharp. G sharp, good. You were questioning it, but you're right. You're right. Uh huh. Okay. And B. B and one more because it's seven. Uh, G sharp. Excellent. E. That's a very smooth sounding chord. I you seem su you seem surprised. Wait, what are you so surprised about? I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, we, you were like because I ain't did this because I ain't did this in a minute. So. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Is it E sharp or D sharp? I missed it. Uh, 
the last note. Again. Is that on um, the last note? The, oh, sorry. the last note. Oh, you're good. D, sir. D as in dog. Yes, D as in dog. Right, and so that is a major seven, and we can we can know that that's a major seven um, note because it is. If you go an octave higher than the E that we started with, and then go back a half a step, that tells us that it's a major seven. If we were to go back two half steps, that tells us that it's a minor seven, and that that gives us like the E dominant seven chord there. So this is um, you know one of the like like most important concepts here that we talked about when it comes to going from one chord to the next, which is we're, we're here right now. We have to ask ourselves which type of E major seven chord makes the most sense for us to play from where we are coming from. Right, princess? It can right. be, it can be different types of E major sevens. We don't know exactly which one it is, but the way that we go about determining it, the way that I've taught and hear about about determining it, um, X, can you can you actually help us out with this? Like how I'm holding I'm holding this right chord that we're currently doing with the right hand. How do we introduce the other chord um, with the left hand and then figure out how to play the next chord with the right hand? So you talking which which chord? So we're gonna introduce the E major seven. And then I want to kind of walk through, like, we play that with the left hand. And then how do we determine looking at, like, the common notes? That method? If you oh, so, going, so going from the B dominant 7 to the E? E major 7. That's right. Uh, so, oh, yeah, yeah, you're saying with the left. Okay, so, mm -hmm. yeah, you just play the E major 7 mm -hmm. with your left hand. And Good. then see what notes are kind of in common with your right. So exactly. that would be which two notes are those? It is uh, it's this it's the B good and in this D sharp. B those are the two in common. Are the two notes in common. So Amanda, what I want you to take a look at is in the left hand I'm playing E major seven, in the right hand I'm playing B dominant seven. And so what we just determined is that the two notes that are common from the chord that we are coming from and the chord that we are going to are B and D sharp, which means that these two notes here become the anchors. Like these are going to be, I'm not moving these fingers at all for the next chord that we're going to play. And if these notes are the next two in the chord that we're going to play, we just look at what we're playing with our left hand and we see that these two notes are all the way on the right already, which means that all we need to do to introduce this new chord is just switch from what we were playing to an E and a G sharp. So I'm gonna do that again. If we're here, we're keeping these two right fingers where they're at and we're, and we're changing the two left fingers to introduce the new notes that create an E major seven, which are an E and a G sharp as Princess told us. Okay, so X, can you play that the first three chords for me twice, please? Like to start the song, in in mm -hmm. the in the way that we yeah have practice. Yes. Um, one second and mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. And then again. Got it. Excellent. Princess, you're up. Amanda, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on your OP one, let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, say that I'm confused now. Ask questions. What are you confused? Uh, I'm playing the the B. Ah, B major seven second inversion to start. Oh. So you should be at F sharp. Um. A sharp, B and D sharp. Oh. I wish I could hear your piano. It was so good a couple weeks ago, wasn't it? And know, it's a new man. year, and just everything is just. We gotta figure it out. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, princess. I don't like this. I'm not happy. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I don't know either. I don't Me know. neither. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll do our best. But um. Okay. That that's that's okay. Unfortunately, I can't hear you. But like, we're gonna we're gonna. You know, just I just want I want you to have that first chord down with the second inversion. 
heard that first note nice and loud and then after that just right, down right I, I heard <laughs> it too I was like oh okay there we go and then second is you just moving your pointer to what to A oh yeah you seem frustrated yeah I am okay new year <laughs> Just kind of just like what's going on? Like you're just kind of like, hey, well, like what's what's oh. what is this all about? What are these chords? Like what's happening? <laughs> well, no, I, look, trust yeah. me, I was sick the whole holiday. Oh, you were. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Thanks. Are you feeling better now? Oh yeah, I feel better now. Much good. better now. Good, good, good. All right, so you get a pass, I guess. If you're sick, I guess you can't come technically be practicing if you were sick. I, I, I couldn't do nothing. I mean, okay. I caught it twice. Ah, gotcha. Okay. And the second time they told me it was COVID. I'm like, going, really? I think y'all just saying that just to get the numbers up. Because the first time I was sick, I was felt like it was the COVID thing. Now y'all yeah. telling me, and I was like, you know what? I yeah. Just, did you get like t tested and they said it or they? Yeah, like, they, they put the thing in my nose. And everything. They said, oh, you got COVID. I said, no, it can't be. I said, I, you, you should have told me that two weeks ago when I had this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. All right, we're going to tap in. Amanda, should I call you Amanda or Mandy? You call me Amanda. Okay. So, Amanda, yeah. um, let me hear that first chord. All right. So, which is going to be. First of all, it's going to uh, take me a while, but B okay. major seven has that's like, right. uh, what is it? B, B, B sharp, F, and A sharp? Is that right? That's right. Is that but wrong? We're playing, that's okay. correct. But we're playing the second okay. version of that. So we're the first note in the chord that you're playing is F sharp. So just ah, it's those okay. same notes. So uh -huh. just... Same notes, okay. but it's it's F sharp, gotcha. A sharp, um, B, and then D sharp. Okay. Oh. So F sharp, A sharp, B, and D sharp. Can you hear that? I don't have, I have it really I was gonna low. Say, Hold on. Uh, yeah, no. I... So that's, can you hear now? I can't. Is your you can hear it from your end, nice and loud. Yes, yeah, nice uh, and loud. Amanda, okay. Um, that's we. All right. Well, we gonna have to. Yeah, nah. How do you how do you have your stuff oh. hooked up? Yeah. I don't have it. I just I just have my AirPods in, and it's like I don't have any wires. I left all my wires at the office. Sorry. Oh. I wasn't so, prepared. No, it's okay. So wait, your 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 AirPods are you're hearing through there, and then it's also using the mic through there as well. And you're talking yes. through there at a similar volume to what you're playing. So maybe the same thing that's going on or with Princess is happening on your end. Like even- yeah, Can you hear it if I push it up? Play it again? Nah. There's that's also weird. like a echo on it. Okay. Yeah. So what's happening here, we, we talked about this like, like, a, like I guess the last session we had, which maybe two or three weeks ago, but Princess was having uh, what sounds to be the same issue that you're, you guys are both having right now. And we had to like make a, a change on like the audio settings on Zoom in order to, to fix that. The reason me or X aren't having that issue is because we are connected different ways. Like you guys are connected where the microphone is hearing your voice and the sound. We're connected using a mixer essentially, right? So it's like going into Zoom and it's like, it's perfect, right, X? It's perfect. Yes. Never, never. I was going to ask if you were connected <laughs> through a mixer. So I should bring in my mixer next time. Yeah. I've, as a matter of fact, yes. And, I, and I've and i I've used that mixer that you're referring to. Um, yeah. And yeah, that would be, that would be absolutely the move. Yeah. Because you can use that. I don't know if, if you have a M1 headset. Maybe you do. Yeah, I do. So okay. I'll be, do that for next time. That'll be the move. Absolutely. Oh, you, so you have the small mm -hmm. mixer? Yeah, TX6. Yeah. That's the one. Man, that yeah. joint is so wrong, bro. That thing is. <laughs> that thing right yeah, there. That, that, that joint is a By breeze. the way, I did not it's join to stall anybody on anything. <laughs> this is purely for look, educational look, purposes. I mean, full, full I mean, I mean teen, teenage engineering sells itself. You know, like, <laughs> like <laughs> it's it's raw. It's Big raw. Back. Like, their stuff looks amazing. It is it is amazing. Like, it's the future. Like, for real. Yeah. <laughs> And the fact that Henny been dropping these videos every day, these beats, man, what crazy too. dope, yeah. man. man, what, yeah. yeah, stressing me out. He, yeah, look, that, <laughs> look, he said, he said, like, I, I messaged him. I was like, yo, man, loving, loving what you're doing, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, man, trying to, you know, stay consistent like you. I'm like, oh, so I inspired you. I'm, I'm looking at what you're doing here. I'm like, yo, I need to like get back into the consistent of making music like that type of thing because I'm 
kind of all over the place. You know, I, I love how he's kind of just yeah in that lane there and just doing this. Well, it's January there. too, so I feel that's like that's true. when we see most like most of those guys um really amp amp it up. They start Absolutely. off they're starting off the year right, you know, Absolutely. with their jams, you know, with their beats. And I I hit maybe two days and then I just. I just fell off basically, but now I'm like, yo, is is this like a sort of call to action kind of thing? Like, yo, let like I have ma I I have mad music and I'm I'm I make mad stuff. Why not just yeah dive in, just lean into it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Lean into it in this month and yeah, see how that goes. But um, well, let's we're gonna continue. Uh, we have some we have the mixer thing for next week. That will definitely be good. Princess, you and I can chat even a little bit offline if you'd like, just so we can kind of like see what might be happening this time. If it, I don't think it's anything different than before, maybe it's just um, another setting in there that we just need to kind of look at. But what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna kind of continue on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue sharing the screen here. And as I mentioned earlier, if there's any questions, just you know, pop in just like say something because that that'll be the way that i know that you have a question because i can't see y'all yeah, when it we're screen sharing all right so x do me a favor i'm curious from your end so you play the first three chords twice as the start of the song goes um mm -hmm. uh let's talk a little bit about this right so the chords that we played b major seven b dominant seven e major seven and then it goes again like this now this is the part that X was like uh, like a star on a few weeks ago, right? We started this song, excuse me, the verse one of this song here, um, you know, as around the sun, the earth knows she's revolving. And then the next time, the next chord that we play and the next line and the rosebuds know to bloom in early May, <clears throat> X, talk to us about what happens there because we did not play that b major seven the the one over rosebuds the same uh, way right sheesh. yeah i didn't yeah yeah i forgot about that yeah, okay uh you, you remember hold what on we, a minute yeah yeah i feel like i feel like we probably went to i, I feel like i went to first inversion and then or maybe maybe I went to I went to one of these. Hold on. Mm -hmm. One sec, one sec, mm -hmm. one sec. Let me look at this A major seven, you dig. Mm -hmm. I dig. Yeah. I, I, I use a lot of slang when I speak. Mm -hmm. Nah, nothing wrong with that, man. <laughs> I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Um <clears throat> did I do that? Heck yeah, that's what I did. There it is. That's that's the sound I'm. I was waiting to hear. So talk to us about what you just what you just played, what you just did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh. So yeah. So the first verse, the B major seven. Mm -hmm. Um. I played this like played the same the same way. The um mm -hmm. second, second second version. version. Then you go to the B dominant, still mm -hmm. the same, and then you go to the to the E major seven. Mm -hmm. Then I I decided to play the next B major seven mm -hmm. in its root position because it's easier to get to the A major the A major seven um from the root of the B major seven. Mm -hmm. that makes sense it yeah. definitely does i'm gonna stop sharing for a second the screen but that's exactly it and we there's there's two things that happen here right one is if we if we're playing it, it's okay to do this but it's it, there's um oh wow someone the guy was uh in the way I, don't, I wonder if he just joined or not hang on let's take a look geoff's ipad let's see how long he was in the waiting room for hopefully not too long Tis, tis, shame on me if he was in there for about 20 minutes, you know? We'll see in a second. I, I don't think I noticed him, though, but that's okay. Um, all right, so, yes, the fact is is that we were playing um, B major 7 four times in a row to start the song, right, to start the, the verses. And so the fourth time that we're playing it, we played a root version, X suggested, because the fourth time that we're playing it, we're going to a different chord uh, after, which is an A major seven. And the reason that when, 
So let, let, let's say that, let's put it this way. When we're going from any chord to another chord afterwards, if there is a, like if we're going from, I don't know, C to G or D to A or anything where there's like a space in between the notes, most likely you are going to need to or really want to use the power of inversions in order to easily go from that first chord to the next chord, most likely. But when you're going from B to A or you know, B to uh, or C to D or anything like that, where the notes are very, very close to each other, you won't be using inversions, really. You can just kind of see that if I'm playing uh, this right here, B major seven in root position, then the A major seven in root position is just going to be shifting over the thumb over from B to A. And therefore, if we know that A major seven is this, it just makes it easy to play and bonus is that it makes it sound different and fresh it's different than what we've been hearing we, we've been hearing this and then this and then this and then it goes to that and it's the same chord but it's played differently so excellent so um let's continue and uh g off uh can you oh no he's yeah he, he probably was in here and then he probably like messaged me and he probably is like very upset right now, but it's all, I mean, I don't know if he's upset. I don't know, we'll see. But um, let's continue. We're gonna, he's he's in the room now, but maybe he's stepped away or something because he's not, his camera's off and his sound's off. All right, so I'm gonna go back to share screen and let's continue. Because the next time that we play this chord progression, what we have here is B major seven to B dominant seven to E major seven to this new chord that we haven't talked about yet called E6. So just as hate knows that love's a cure and you can rest your mind assure. Now assure, this app here that we're using by the way is called Ultimate Tabs or Ultimate Guitar Tabs. And it's a free app or, or you can pay for it and get like, um, like to get the ads removed or whatever. I think it's like, I don't know, 30 bucks a year or something like that. So I have the paid version just to, you know, get rid of ads. But one of the cool things, in addition to having access to virtually every song and the chord progressions associated with them, like the user user created ones, as well as like like official ones, which is really, really dope. Um, you can tap chords to see what a chord is. So before I even ask, um, actually, I have, a I have a question, please. I have a question. Are so after you play the A major seven, are with that next B major seven, are you are we still playing it in root position or are you going back to second inversion? Let's see. Um, I went back to second inversion, and the reason for that is okay. because the next th this set of three chords that we play in a row B major seven, B dominant seven to E major seven, these are all the same ones that we've been playing, so it's it's easier for us. Now, as we, this, this is a good question. As we get more advanced at this, perhaps if you wanted to, we could stay on route two and we can kind of see how how it sounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, but we'll we'll have to do a little bit more work and here here's why. So say for example, just real quick, X's question was, you know, B major seven to B dominant seven to E major seven uh, over uh, just as hate knows loves the cure. He was asking, do we go back to root for B major seven or do we stay? I'm Well, I guess, do we stay on root because we were just at root or do we go back to, to the second inversion? So the answer is you can do whatever you want, um, whatever you think sounds better, whatever is easier, you know, depending on what, what mode you're in. But um, I've been doing it. I've gone like that. But we know that if we went to root, we can stay, we can get from B major seven to B dominant seven very easily. But then we're at this place now, uh, and, and X, maybe I'll, I'll have you help us out with this. To go from B dominant seven to E major seven, from root of B dominant seven, how do we figure out how to play an E major seven? Um, uh, hold on, hold on. But couldn't you play the E major seven in second? Second yeah, version? I, I, I'm, like, I said it absolutely wrong. Yeah, yeah. So not we don't want to play root because we played the root of that earlier. So we know that it's not. It doesn't sound as nice. Of the what? Yeah, it doesn't sound as nice, version. but second inversion of E major seven because okay. that is that is B sharp E and G sharp. Yeah. 
So that's Doesn't exactly sound pretty to me. Fair. Good. So how, how do you do it though? You just move the uh right? Yeah, B. so so the B major seven in root is the B, the D sharp, the F sharp, and the A sharp. Right. That's B major seven root, and then mm -hmm. you drop the pinky down from A sharp to A Good. to get to get the B to B dominant seven, and then yep. to get the E major seven second inversion, all you do is move your middle finger off F sharp to E, and then yep. move your pinky from the A to the G sharp. Exactly, perfect. So let me pause for a second. I'm gonna stop sharing and just see if there's any questions, comments, or anything so far, or shall we proceed between Amanda or Princess? No. So far, so good. Okay. So here's the thing. We have E6 as the next chord, and the point I was making about um, the fact that we're using this app here is that we can click on any of these chords if we're not exactly sure what an E6 is because we have not spoken about an E6 yet. And that can just tell us what it is. And then we can kind of pretty easily determine like what the formula is for, or I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't use the word formula. Formula is a you know, math term, math, I'm a math guy and everything. If I say that, I might like scare people away if, if you hate math or something, which I think at least one person here does. Um, but we can figure out what how, how to play an E6 chord, right? So I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna ask myself like, okay, what do we see here? Well, we see E, so E dominant, E dominant seven is what is this, but an E six, this meaning, um, you know, E major with the, with the minor seven up top, right? But an E six looks like all it's doing is what? Bringing that last note down another half step, right? So if we're playing this this last part that we're working on, I'm going to go back to, because I agree with X about, about the way that that E major 7 and second inversion sounded. I'm going to go back to B major, let's uh, take that down, B major 7 to B dominant 7 to E major 7. Now X, what do I need to do to my, I know you were saying pinky, and I'll, I'll say this as well as we talk, talked about this. Yep. You or can, 5, sorry. No, no, that's fine, right? So you were saying pinky right. or, or fi the five finger. I've been using my four mm -hmm. finger, uh, my, my ring finger for like these four note chords just because for me it feels more comfortable. And when we start talking about these five note chords, I need this pinky ready to go over here for other stuff, right? Because we will get there. Okay, I'm wait sure a minute, you... wait a minute. You're playing You're playing this E major seven with your ring finger? That's right. That's crazy, okay. Yeah, it's... that's not happening over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's just not happening? No, just no? Okay. <laughs> that hurts. That that's a that's a stretch, my boy. Like nah. yeah, yeah. It it is a little. It is a little bit. You know, I I, I hear you there. Um, but the the thing is that. And then you want to play. You want to play your use your pinky to play. Yeah, like like, like a nine this, or something. like F. No, not that one. Nah, bro. Nah, I'm actually bro. surprised nah. you don't play guitar with that finger stretching you got there. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Because that's <laughs> type of crazy. That's what. It's, that's like, one of the it's goals. not going, It's not even reaching over there. At not all. even. Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> Look, I mean, well, I'm gonna play the E and the F if I have to do hurt. that. Oh yeah, which we it don't do necessarily hurt. want, right? No, I don't want. I don't want you guys getting injured out here. You know what I'm saying? Like lawsuits <laughs> or anything. Like, get, you get cramps. Like, <laughs> Caught a yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's to be sober. The absolute, the absolute last thing that we need in here right now, you know. <laughs> but it's it's cool. Like when you're playing classical, when you're doing classical music, you need to use a specific fingering. Otherwise, you're gonna ask yourself for like complete trouble, like not good situation. When you're not playing classical, you need to use what feels comfortable, like especially what we're doing here. So that's all that that's all that 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 is. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, so when we're going from E major seven to E six, we're going down a whole step, right? E major seven to E six, we're going down a whole step. So we're taking this ring finger, and maybe you guys can do this because this is like a whole note closer, right? So over here, it's, it's C sharp now instead of D sharp. 
So the way that this would sound is like this. Um, well, yeah, okay, I'll just play it. Maybe can't rest my mind or sure. Right? And that's like some kind of like little accent or like little heading into this next part of the song, which we haven't learned yet. Um, but I'll we'll, we'll talk about that. I want to make sure we're good here before we talk about the next part, which is which is very different. Like the, the, just to kind of share, I don't think we yeah, we, this is where we left off, I believe, in the sessions leading up into today. Um, but as we can see here, we're going to notice that we, we're going to have an opportunity to to utilize some a, a lot of the stuff that we talked about already so far. Um, but where it's that I'll be, that I'll be loving you all ways. And then I think it's, and then it goes back up. And then it goes to C sharp minor. And then to F dominant seven. But I don't like that version. We'll, we'll figure a, be a better version there. But what we see here is we see a total different sort of chord situation, right? Um, we learned some of these, but we're gonna we're gonna kind of quickly see that. I'm um, trying to look at. Actually, I don't know if we. That, that's actually not true at all, right? None of none of these really. So that that makes it even more interesting. It's like okay, we got to this part of the song. Now we're like learning a whole new song because it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven new chords, right? Am, am I mistaken, right? There's seven here, and none of these are ones that we that we've played in the song yet. Is that no. Stevie Wonder for you? Boom, there you go. And um, but we're going to be able to use a lot of the similar techniques uh, that we've kind of talked about so far. So I, I would like to pause for any questions. I'm not going to remove the screen share. Are we doing we're all doing OK so far? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. All right. So X, what do you say we look at um, that I'll be? Loving you, those first two chords, G sharp minor seven, and Mandy. Oh, I'm sorry, you said Amanda. Uh, Amanda, what is above you? What chord is that? I'm sorry. What was the question? Oh yeah. So um, <clears throat> on the screen here, that I'll be loving you. The chord that's above the word you. Uh, do you know what chord that is? It's A sharp. I was like trying to think what is it. A sharp major mm -hmm. seven. Mm -hmm. So good seven. guess. Close. A sharp is right. A sharp is right. Okay. Seven is right. But if not major, then what? Minor. Right. And so here we go. Major seven will be denoted by either M A J. Oh, okay. Or okay. Or what? What do you What do you guys think? Maybe another way to denote. I thought it would be capital or lowercase. There like capital M would be okay, because that's what I remember. Okay. That's that's exactly right. Yep. You'll see either of those no notations. Now, will you ever see? Yeah, for sure. I've seen B, capital B, and then M I N seven. You'll see that as well. But those are those are the two different ways, right? M I M I N, or M lowercase, and then M A J or capital M uh, for for major. So yeah, so A sharp major seven. So X, we're gonna take a look at this G sharp major seven. Now, who can tell me? Uh, let me. How do I articulate to this question? Who can tell me why? Uh, why? we shouldn't play the G sharp minor seven in any way that we want to at this point of the song. Why, why we should play it, why, why we need to learn it a specific way at this point of the song, the G sharp minor seven. You mean at its root? Yeah, so like essentially- Rather G than an inversion? Correct. Like, like why would we need to figure out which way to play that at this point of the song, as opposed to what we did at the beginning of the song, which is we played the B major seven in all different ways and we found which way sounded the best. Why would we not do the same thing for G sharp minor seven at this point of the song is, is the hint. Like we're in the midst of the song now, right? And I'll help. So the fact is, is that if we, if we're like, say, if we're all good to go with like the first verse up to E6, we're like solid there, right? And then now we're like, all right, now we're shifting over to G sharp minor seven, and we're gonna like learn these these seven new chords. Like we're we're gonna tackle this, you know, today. If we went ahead and said, okay, G sharp minor seven, let's let's kind of figure out what that is. So here's G sharp. It turns out that G sharp minor 
is this right g sharp minor is this chord here i'm just i'm as, as i'm teaching stuff i'm thinking about like what are yeah for sure i'm thinking about like ideas for other um introductory you know videos similar to what i've, I've published so far and certainly um one a great one would be talking about being like having like rock solid knowing your white note major chords for example so all white note major chords are not going to have all white notes in them right here's major all white notes one black note in the middle right e minor one black note in the middle all white all white one black note in the middle two black notes right so this is probably a good place for me to like say oh yeah this will be a good video idea to kind of talk about that because similar to that now we're looking at g sharp minor seven so g sharp is here and g sharp minor seven looks like this right based on the the formula to figure out major and minor chords and then uh, i'm sorry g sharp minor is like this and then minor seven is going to be take a, go up an octave and go down a half step here so here's the deal the reason to answer my my original question the reason why we wouldn't play this chord and be like okay that sounds pretty good, but let's see how first inversion sounds. Um, okay, what is first inversion? Okay, that sounds good, and then so on and so forth. The reason that we wouldn't do that is because we are coming from another chord in the song, aren't we? We're coming from E dominant 6. So not unlike any of the previous um, chord progressions that we've done where we're going from one to the next, we are needing to to be at e dom, uh, at e6 and figure out how to go from e6 to g sharp minor 7 that's the that's the task at hand and it, i'll i'll give you guys like a um you know spoiler alert um well yeah kind of a spoiler alert so the the g sharp minor 7 that makes the most sense to play based on the previous chord that we were at is not root it's uh what was it is it is it g sharp b then d sharp and then e g say that once more g sharp uh-huh uh b okay d sharp d sharp and e. okay so what is that that is Wait, wait, wait. What what chord are you trying to play right now? The G sharp major seven. Minor so seven. Okay, so we're at G sharp. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I was supposed yeah. to play a seven. Ha -ha. Yeah, yeah, ha -ha. yeah, yeah. Ha -ha. Don't listen to me. One second. Hold on a minute. Uh-huh. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. So move the instead of the E. Play the uh, F -sharp. play the uh, yeah that. So I, I was I thinking the E in. because I was moving from the E six. Yep. And I and I was like I need to leave the E because I, I I looked at it to see which notes were in common from the E six to the to the G minor seven. Right, right, right. Which were the which were the G sharp and the B. B. Those correct. are the two common ones. So and to then, that point look look at, at at this here right i'm gonna stop sharing just because we're almost out of time i want to see you guys as i bring this bring this home and then we'll kind of continue on with this next week um so it turns out that if we were here if we were at this e6 right here and we want to figure out how do we go from e6 to g sharp minor seven the way that makes the most sense to x's point is for us to determine the notes that are common in the previous chord to the next chord. And those two notes are G sharp and B, right? And so, so it turns out that like this right here, the way I'm playing this is the best way to play the next chord because it's still keeping those two notes exactly where they are. So we're here and it's, this is a bit of a different kind of move, right? It's right it's a little more advanced for sure so wait how, how did you play it so yeah so we're here we're at e6 and then i kept the two middle notes the same two middle notes the same and i brought the wait, lowest wait, wait wait i think i'm playing e6 different than you are okay i'm playing, playing it whoa maybe i'm not 
I can't mm-hmm. really see. So you're playing. You're playing the E with your with your thumb, right? With your one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. E with okay, the one. Oh, you're seeing the middle. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And so I'm saying like the two middle notes, we're gonna keep the same. Yeah. But we're gonna. Are we using the same fingering? Let's see. Yeah, we're using the same fingering, but we're kind of plate. So, so ch- check out the movement. Um, can I bring this a little lower? Maybe. Let's see. Oh shit! Look at that. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. A little closer, maybe. Right. So what we have here is the fact that at, for this next chord that we need to play, we need to keep these two middle fingers the same, but we need to switch the two outer fingers to create the necessary inversion for G sharp minor. And to do that, we have to engage this thumb to F sharp. So we have to bring this up. And w- the moment you bring your thumb to F sharp, what happens is now the the position of your two middle fingers on the two notes that you're playing is different because your thumb is so yes. small, See right? You so you have to kind of like, you have to kind of like slide up kind of like that, right? Because if you don't do that, you're going to you're gonna be stretching your finger and it's not comfortable. You got to talk about like cramps and stuff. That, that's how you definitely, definitely can get that. And then over here from C sharp, you're actually playing D sharp for the next for the next note in in the chord. So it, it should look like this. That's that's the way it looks. And the notes that we're playing here are F sharp, G sharp, uh B and D sharp. So let me pause for a second. That is 2 minutes past. We're going to head over to Henny's Patreon. That's what we do after this, Amanda, uh, at what time? At nine, at 9 o'clock, yeah. So, look, appreciate everyone for joining. Well, look, look, Geoff is joining right now. Maybe I might be able to say some words to him real quick. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm, connecting the audio. I don't know. I don't know. I might stick around for a few minutes to see if he joins. There he is. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hey, I don't know if I have my audio on or not. It's okay. But you were maybe listening to me on YouTube. Yeah. Excellent. Were you? How long were you in the waiting room? Because we were all wondering. I was wondering if I dropped the ball by like having you in the waiting room for like forty minutes. Um, no, it was. I was in the waiting room for a little while there. It took me a while to get the the Zoom set up. I was having some technical difficulties, okay. um, and then I had to. Uh, uh, it took me a while to figure out how to get everything set up. But yeah, I had a very. Uh, I was I was listening in on the awesome. uh, YouTube channel. I'm glad to hear you are. Well, we'll see you next week and see everyone else next week. So thank, thanks everyone for joining. Had a great time. And also one more thing, feel free. This is only for like exclusive members, like you guys, like starting at the ground floor of Patreon, but feel free to reach out to me whenever during the week, if there's questions about anything that we've gone over. All right. That's like an access, like full access to me um, up until pre- maybe like 10 people or something like that. Uh, then I'm going to cut that off like hard, like boom, that's it. So you guys have that. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week, okay? See you later. Take care. Bye.